Hey everybody, David Fine here. I'm here with Ricky and we are in the central Florida. Uh, it's springtime guys. We are hunting for hair streaks and uh, we are in central Florida in some of like these higher elevation kind of oak flats. There's plenty of sparkleberry in here and guys, we're, we're going to look for some cool bugs, including um, we're going to look for satyrum hair streaks, including satyrum calinus. And we're going to look on some of these sparkleberry bl blooms and uh, we saw some uh, sweet clover in bloom, and we're going to see if we can find any cool bugs, including uh, Satyrum calinus. So uh, there's three or four different species of, uh, of uh, Satyrum hair streaks that can be easily confused, and we're going to try and show you the difference. Hopefully we find all of them, and we can show you all of them in one video. So uh, let's see what we can find. We're hunting for calinus hair streak. All right, so for sure... The first thing we're seeing here, guys, is that these, the, the Fixicia favonius are on the wing. This is the Southern Oak hair streak. They are all over the place. This one tree, there's at least seven or eight of these things on one, one little tree. And my heart and goal is to show you some really cool images of some springtime Florida hair streaks. Let's see, oh, look at her, nice female. You see the big red stripe there on the hind wing? That's the, that's an indicator of this species. Um, most of the calinus, or most of the satyrum hair streaks have a little red, like a little red dot. Fixicia favonius has that big red stripe on the hind wing. See how they move their tails up and down. That is uh, their way of mimicking false antennae. All right, guys. Here's our next species. We finally found a Satyrum calinus female. She's a little awkward where she's sitting. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Satyrum calinus, guys, female. Very nice. Very, very nice. Come on. Got the great woodpecker action in the back. if we can get a little backlit sunlight action on this hair streak. How cool. Satyrum calinus. We're looking for a third one called Satyrum liparops. It's going to have more of those little stripes on it. Sorry for the shaky video, guys. I'm reaching up as high as I can to get you these images trying to hold it steady <laughs> got the sun in the background so it's a little bit backlit can't really see the real colors let me see if i can get another image from this side there we go Satyrum calinus. I believe this is an oak feeder as well, if I remember correctly. So, members of the Satyrum genus, they, what they do is they emerge in the spring. They only have one brood a year. And the females will lay their eggs on the stems of their host plant. And it's actually, the caterpillars hatch. And it's actually either the young caterpillars or the eggs themselves that diapause all the way until the next spring. And when the plants flush out their new growth, that is when, uh, when the plants flush out their new growth, the caterpillars emerge or hatch from their eggs and start feeding. 
Sorry, I'm gonna try and get you guys some better images because this guy's so just this girl's just a little too tall, tall up. Right, let me see if I, she'll let me. Ah, there she goes. All right, we're seeing our second Calanus hair streak here. It looks pretty fresh. Let's see, where are you? And so I'm gonna. Oh, that is that a great purple? Is that a great purple? Uh, it might be a great purple. Is that? Oh, where are you? I can't see. Oh, where are where are you? You want this? Hold on, I I just. Can't. Oh, there it is. No, it's not. Let me take the calanus that I saw. What if I can find them? What color are they on the outside? On the, on the underwing? Great. Great. They're jet black. Oh. oh. All right. See if you see anything that looks different. This is awesome. <laughs> What'd you find? All right, folks. There is one beautiful calanus hair streak. Satyrum calanus. Uh, this is actually the one perfect specimen that I've seen today. We had one earlier that was chipped up, but this is my voucher for the year for calanus uh, from Central Florida. So pretty sweet. This tree right here, guys, is absolutely covered with hair streaks. So uh, at most of them are Favonius, Southern Oak hair streaks, but we're going to keep sifting through and see if we can find any uh, hidden treasures that might be in and amongst the common Favonia, so we're gonna keep hunting. Um, yeah. Even the Urema sulfur is getting in on the sparkleberry action. Let's see. It's not being very cooperative, as always. Oh, is that, what is that? Nope. <laughs> man, oh man, what a bunch crazy butterflies all over this stuff there there's butterflies all over the place it's like this is this is absolutely insane guys how many how many hair streaks on this one little bush oh there's a calanus let's see oh let's get some good video of a calanus finally yes finally guys satyrum calanus this is the best video by far that I've gotten of this species. There we go. We're a little late for Calanus, but here it is. We had to sift through about 8,000 Favonius to find this one. And I'm glad we stuck through it. We showed patience and <laughs> looked at Hair streak after hair streak after hair streak until we finally found one. Beautiful. All right, so the southern oak hair streak was a lot more common than the calanus was. We were able to positively identify one fairly fresh female calanus hair streak. So, uh, guys, it was a hunt. I think we missed the main flight for that species by about a week. But we were able to find some and get you some cool videos. So, guys, hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, having a great time in Central Florida. We've got a great series of videos coming to you from Central Florida. We'll be posting those throughout the next few months. And um, having a great time. So, guys, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Bye now.